Uppercut, uppercut. Sonic Boom! To be zero things, hope you are wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bushka. Today's video is Blitz Bootcamp, uh, particularly TDs. You can apply most of this stuff to all times, but TDs that don't have a turret, in particular, we'll talk about some of that today. Um, this is aimed specifically at people, particularly who are under 50% of the rate, and are sometimes a bit frustrated and befuddled as to why they are not winning more games when they've got high damage. And a lot of them will just sit in this spot here as a TD, and they won't venture forth. And they won't move forward until everyone else on the team is dead, and there's no one spotting targets anymore, and then they'll move forward. That's a mistake. A lot of blitz is timing like anything in life but a lot of blitz is even more so making fewer mistakes than the other team um, and if you want to work on your game then things like this are going to be super important this is the yag tiger we're going to be playing that this tank today it's a high dpm tank it's okay armor for its tier it doesn't do well when armored up to it. look at the angle that i'm taking to get a shot i'm just going to let the gun flop out here I've also waited for him to fire before I've taken that move. Uh, I'm going to try and track him. That's another thing we need to do more of. And then as soon as I do that, I pull back in and I immediately bounce a shell and I track him again. So my teammates can shoot him. Because I'm going to miss the next shell. I'm willing to get shot here so I can get the kill. It doesn't matter. My teammate gets it. So I take damage there. But I only took one shot and I tracked him twice. I put three shots into him and we cleared a tank. Now, I didn't get hit there because I was angled up so savagely coming around that corner. I didn't just come around broadside. I let the tank swing around. That isn't something that you could really... Oh God, this tank always misses low. I don't know why, it always misses low for me. It, that isn't something that you could really... Um, emphasize enough angling as you come round corners because if you are fighting tanks like that t110 e4 they're going to be waiting for you to turn up so that they can take that shot and there is nothing more frustrating as a td driver than waiting forever to get a shot only to miss that shot and that's exactly what we made that e4 there the other thing we're doing in this situation look at me i'm just farming damage here off the hit point pool of that e75 because I'm a high DPM tank. I'm a TD with a lot of DPM. And by not sitting in that spawn point, I turned the flank by helping kill the T30. I pushed through the middle and supported the E75 against an E100, a higher tier opponent. And then we're going to roll through the back end of the map and get the eventual win. And this is one of the things that players who get frustrated and really don't understand why they're losing so much don't do they don't play with process all the time and as you play these things and do them more and more you start grinding them into your mindset you start grinding them into your gameplay and it's it's important to note that when you're doing that you're helping your team win now you're not going to win them all even if you try and do all these things correctly still just come up against a team that plays better than your team and that's all right it is genuinely okay we all get frustrated by that we all are kind of baffled and befuddled the thing that i die the most from is not paying attention to what my team is doing and you saw i was in a yag tiger and i was the first up here to see that's not what should be happening and i realized that we've got a really weird team I don't know why, but it's a tier 10 game and they're being incredibly passive on the back end. Um, I was willing to move forward. I don't know why they're chatting. Uh, I was willing to move forward with the rest of my team, but they were not moving past me. And all I'm doing here is guarding the flank of my 60 TP. Like, these aren't high percentage shots. They're the only shots I've got on offer. I'm spamming APCR, super high pen APCR. It might feel like you're wasting time a bit and you're sitting here, but 
I'm doing two things. One, I'm totally denying that red heavy there, the opportunity to just creep up and double team my 60 TP. He could come underneath that ridge line there because we don't really have anyone guarding and he could really put pressure on. The 60 TP is now pushed. Now, I'm going to instantly, instantly start pushing down there when I see the second 60 TP pop because I know once that T10 heavy falls, we don't have another T10 heavy to hold this line and I am already two tanks down. I missed low again. See that? It might look crazy, but I'm actually putting myself on display there and begging to be shot instead of the 60 TP because we're trying to get the win and it's important that I keep him alive and in a position where he can help hold the line. It's not hit point ineffective. That means he's not so low that he's not a one shot. And taking that shot from the E3 has actually kept that 60 TP in the game. And then our 183 has done a wonderful job. He's pushed around the other side. And lo and behold, we were two tanks down and we're just about to even this up. Like the 183 and I and the 60 TP are in big trouble. Because they're all coming, but at least we've cleared this flank. We've got three tanks versus four. We're all one shots. Look at the angle I'm at again. Always holding this angle. There's the other Yag Tiger. Angled, angled, angled. Now he fired AP there. I did. I fired APCR. <laughs> because why fire AP when you're not sure you're going to pen in these late game situations? Fire APCR and be certain you're going to pen in these late game situations. It's really, really important. Sometimes you might spend a bit of cash, like credits, to fire APCR, but it's better than actually not getting a hit at all. Uh, this is an interesting one. People do this all the time. I think it's absolutely crazy, but I'll do it. This 183 is going to look at me. I'm going to max roll for 575 and then immediately change my angles again. Could fire Hessian at me, but I'm just really distracting him from the WZ. And then he just doesn't turn around. He doesn't try to do anything apart from look at me. People will do this. This is a mistake. You've got to, like, this is like sunk cost fallacy. You're like, well, I've, I've paid for the shot on this guy. I'm just going to sit there waiting until I get the shot on this guy. And that's a terrible thing to do. He probably should have reversed and slid backwards down that hill. It would have given him an opportunity to try to kill the WZ. I'm not saying he would have got it done, but he could have done more. With this. Finally, for turreted TDs, this is an easier thing. But for non-turreted TDs, what I'm about to show you is so, so very important. If you're driving something like an Object 268, like an SU-152, like a WZ-113, you have to be hyper-vigilant about lights and mediums that are really quick, heavy, so you can get around you. Particularly for me, because I'm only running one multi pair kit. Um, you can see, I am aware, as soon as this grub EFE starts rolling forward. I'm also watching the shots from the side here, and I'm looking to get shots into the FE as he rotates. There's an object 142, so what I'm going to do is get near a bit of hard cover. Hard cover means that you can get your ass against the wall, and they can't get around behind you. That guy just took 1,200 damage from the running into me. See how I don't have that repair kit? It didn't matter. I got tracked. And I was able to survive because the 140 could get behind me. And the biggest mistake I could have made there was going to chase another shot at the 140. Just stay where you are. Stay solid. Let the enemy make mistakes. And if they're making mistakes, don't stop them. And uh, watch as I rotate. And I'm not going to zoom in on this MP4202 on this shot. You have to be able to take this shot without ADSing. Because if you're ADSing, it'll be very difficult. As soon as the gun goes into his engine deck, press the trigger, go away, a happy camper. These are the kind of things that most experienced players who are 60% plus or even 50% plus and have been playing for a long time have learned. These kind of simple gameplay mechanics that you put in your game and they stop you from 
being cannon fodder. These are the things that will lift you over 50% if you're struggling to get there. But you've got to be disciplined with it. Um, it's a fun thing to play, this game. And there are players out there who are going to be better than you. Some of them are assholes. Some of them are not great human beings in an online sense. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to the guys screaming at you on your team. You're doing your best and you're playing as hard as you can and you're actually making an effort and you've gone to YouTube and found a video that helps you figure things out and you're putting the time in, just keep doing it. You'll get there. You will get there. You will get there. I hope you enjoy yourself out there on the battlefield. I'm Bushkin. Thanks very much for watching. Look after yourselves. Au revoir, amigos.